Like that. Uh, this is uh, round two. Dolgonite probably had a buy. No, he, uh, he beat Azura. Ah. It doesn't. It looks like Nam was the only buy in this pool. All right. Well. And that makes sense. He's probably seated third, if I had to guess. Three. Because uh, Ally, low, Nam, probably Midaloni fourth. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know who else is coming out. I know uh, Extraordinary is coming out. Yeah, so he's probably seated pretty darn highly. Mm -hmm. But we shall see. We should have Greninja versus Luigi. And mm -hmm. I know Adorable Knight also plays some Greninja. So yes, he does. Familiar with he, the character. He knows his setups. Right. He knows what he's looking for, at least. Mm -hmm. He probably knows some of the, like, the DI dependent stuff and how to get out of it, if yep. I had to guess. Or maybe knowing David, he just kind of wings it. <laughs> okay, well, there's that, too, I guess. Maybe he's... Seeing how other people get out of his stuff, though. There like you when go. he's playing Greninja. There and you trying go. to get the tornado there and not going to find it. Here's, a, here's the thing about Adorable Knight is that he'll start off the game kind of, you know, either really slow or really quick, and he'll adapt to you immediately. It's awful. He's, he's getting a lot, a lot of grabs here, and he's got a nice lead built up on Nickel Cat right at the moment. But Nickel Cat going to find that back here, just kind of running around on that platform. And we're back into neutral. Adorable Knight gonna get yet another grab. I noticed Nickel Cat throwing out a lot of options on Adorable Knight Shield, mm -hmm. but they're not spaced well. They're not pushing him back enough to avoid a grab. No, it seems like Nickel Cat maybe maybe should have took a hand warmer. Maybe. And uh, <laughs> the multiple up to smash is coming out from Adorable Knight. It's head banging. Head banging yeah. ball. And trying to get that uh, up smash. Not sweet spotting there, so not maximizing that damage. No, but still a nice read nonetheless. Mm -hmm. And that spot dodge, you're getting covered up by the jabs. Just and hold the A button. Luigi's Ooh. favorite button, because it's green. Yep, basically. Jab, jab, grab! Oh, trying to get the down air, not going to find it. Landing with the neutral air, up air. Oh, now Adobinate just wants G's. Basically. He's hunting, dude. He looks really good right now. Oh, yeah. I can't tell if that was great SDI from uh, Nickel Cat, or if he, if he just mashed too hard. I think he mashed a bit too hard. Because it either can result in the, the Luigi fall. It's probably a combination of the two. Probably. But you can definitely fall out of that cyclone. You shouldn't die to that. On stage, at least. Right. That's what I meant. Like the down throw. The shuriken snipe, not quite. Not taking a jump either. No. So making it back safely. Yep. He tried with that hydro pump, though. I respect the option, but just not quite having the range. He, he needs to kill right now. He's getting air dodges, but Nickel Cat not quite having the, the height there to cover up those air dodges. Oh, the Ooh. Shadow Sneak gonna do it though. Nice catch. Mm -hmm. Sitting there, throw out those fireballs in range of that Shadow Sneak. Great pickup from Nick. So we're seeing Nickel Cat kind of, you know, warming up a bit. Yeah. This is looking more like the Nickel Cat we know and love. Seems less likely to just throw whatever on shield. Okay. In well, the up smash, yeah. But Adorable Knight built such a huge lead, he uh, he's really warm from playing doubles, uh, I would say, and then maybe just did some warm up stuff on the break as well. Yeah, I so just ready, ready to rock and roll. Red hot. Mm-hmm. And we will see game number two. Neko Cat definitely thinking it out here. Mm -hmm. uh, probably discussing bands, all that good stuff. Right. I'm trying to think of what do I do against this anomaly of a character. <laughs> Luigi, he's kind of an enigma. You look at him like, and you think, wow, everything this character does is an accident. It almost feels that way, like, he just kind of presses buttons and it works. Yeah, that's this entire character that's described in Smash, basically. Ooh, See? The, the neutral air, uh, not gonna be get, find a follow-up afterwards, unfortunate. I mean, at least he's out of the, out of the streak right. now. You take, what, take what you can get, right. sorry. These two are uh, much more even this time. Uh, not that uh, that smacking that Adorable Knight delivered in game one. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. It was like a half burp. I don't know, mate. I uh, got a grab here, though. Nice jam mix up with that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of went. Oof. And Nickel Cat getting the up smash there. Up tilt. It's great air dodge from Adorable Knight. Now we're seeing Nickel Cat be like, okay, this matchup is doable. It's mm. not just a lot of buttons. Right. He's pressing less of them. He's pressing less buttons, and he's spacing better. There you go. 
That's all, all right. that's all fighting Luigi is. It's just spacing out your moves. Yeah, because he's he does have that really low traction. I like that crawling there. He, uh, it can be a great like micro spacing option. And oh, trying to go for an up smash. And as soon as we were talking about good spacing, he immediately just runs up and four airs on shield directly in his face. And that was a great cross up dash check. I like that. And the fair. And he was charging up that down smash. It sent him a decent ways because he was doing that. He might have released it right before he got hit. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice confirm. Yep. Very nice stuff to Nick. Nick taking this first stock. He's looking much better than the, the first game, that's for sure. He's finally realizing what he did wrong. And the run up up smash is going to take it. Everyone spot dodges it. And he just holds it there. That's such a good option. Charging is a little underrated. Oh, yeah, because people are like, oh, he's going to throw a smash deck. I'm going to spot dodge. And he's, oh, he's charging it. Well, oh. I'm dead. Oh, oh s s shadow sneaking out. Okay. He almost sh shadow sneaked out, but then he got caught again by a grab. Right. That is something like you do the shadow sneak, but then you're in the end lag of the, the, the kicking hitbox. Oh, yeah. And the sour spot dare. Not going to get any type of spike, but that's a great up smash read on the stage. Just missing that up smash. At this point, I think Adorable Knight's a little, you know, tired of the shenanigans. Yeah. And he is up pretty big right at the moment. And the up smash not finding its mark there. Neither of them. Oh, that was great. Trying to get the counter, but just not going to work. Nick, okay, I respect that he's going for some some uh, ballsy options here. They're a, little, they're a little risky, but... But look at the deficit. Like, you kind of need to go for something like that. Against Luigi, maybe not. I don't know. You're not winning enough neutral exchanges, though. And win more. I, <laughs> but go for one cheese off stage. Right? Uh-oh. All right, so he's going to... Up to launch out a shuriken. Now Adorable Knight's got him off stage once again. That's and it. the up smash, yeah. I noticed that Nickel Cat really likes to recover on stage. And I think Adorable Knight noticed that too. That's why he got the up smash. <laughs> yeah, I, he, he had a read on it. He realized, hey, Nickel Cat, you're coming, coming horizontally.